Hello, everybody. If you can see me, just um, say hello. I'm just trying to pull this up so I can see my live feed. Looks like I am live now, so we should be good to go. Just doing a mic check and making sure I sound okay. And if you pop in here, say hello. We will go ahead and get started in just a minute. I just wanna make sure that we're in the right spot. And it looks like we might be just saying hello if you pop in. Okay. We are officially at the uh, top of the hour, so welcome to Cards by TLC. My name is Tammy Savello, and welcome to my first YouTube Live, everyone. I appreciate you being here today. Um, today is Thursday, May 5th. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Um, again, my name is Tammy Savello, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of the San Francisco Bay Area. I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for about seven years now and I blog over at cardsbytlc.com and you are catching me live on my first face or my first YouTube live. Um, I see somebody popping in. So as you join in, hello Marcy, welcome. So as I was saying, again, my name is Tammy Tavello. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator out of the San Francisco Bay Area. And as I was, as I was saying a little bit earlier, um, I've been a demonstrator for about seven years now, and I blog over at cardsbytlc.com. And if you are catching me live on this live stream event, you will see that little red live button in the top left-hand corner of your screen. If you do not see that button, that just simply means that you're catching me on the replay either here or, or over on my blog. Just type in the hashtag replay so I can come back and say hello to you. Um, today we are playing with a brand new stamp set that is actually out of our brand new catalog. It's the 2022-2023 annual catalog. And this just went live this past Tuesday, May 3rd. So I'm so excited I can actually show you what we're gonna be playing with today. And the bundle and suite that we're actually gonna be playing with today is on page 12 and 13, the very first suite out of the um, catalog, and it's called T Boutique. And coming with this bundle, you get this amazing designer paper adorable note cards with matching envelopes, and then of course the bundle, the um, stamp set, and hi Tracy, thank you, welcome. Um, the die set and the stamp set, cup of tea, teacup dies that go along with it, and this adorable paper. I love this paper, this paper is so fun. It's a six by six, um, really versatile, has amazing prints on the front side, as well as some more subtle, soft prints on the back side. So we are gonna be playing with that today. Let me get this out of the way. Hi, Jason, thank you for joining me. Go ahead and get this and I will bring in the projects Oops. that I am going to be doing today. Today we are gonna be playing with the teacup set, like I said, and we have these two adorable cards they're quick and easy and you can make multiples out of them. So that's why I wanted to start off with my very first live here to make it clean and simple. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, everybody. Uh, I went to the pre-scheduled one, but it didn't work. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, we'll have to definitely play that. Um, I will look into that, Jason. Thank you. Um, but the pre-scheduled link didn't work. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Well, we'll definitely work out the kinks and stuff like that, but I'm glad you are able here to join me. 
and it looks like we might be okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Again, these are the two cards that we're making today. So the first one is going to be with the um, new Oasis, um, Orchid, o Orchid Oasis, part of our um, designer, um, or not designer paper, I'm sorry, the new in colors. Um, we're gonna be playing with three of the five in colors and the colors that we're gonna be playing with today are gonna be Orchid or Oasis, Sweet Sorbet, and Parakeet Party. And I absolutely love these colors. The Orchid Oasis reminds me of this bluish purple periwinkle color. Um, Parakeet Party is gonna be one of my new favorite greens. It's such a bright, vibrant green. And then of course, Sweet Sorbet is a really pretty reddish pink color. So those are the three colors that we're gonna be focused on today. And then of course, we're also gonna be using Daffodil Delight. It's a great yellow, bright yellow for the lemons. So I'm obsessed with this paper. Um, this lemon paper, I, <laughs> I love this. I actually wish this paper was in 12 by 12, but this lemon, if you know me, I love lemon anything. I love decorating in lemons. I love, especially in the summertime, I love lemon flavor everything. I love lemon scented. So this six by six piece, I wish I had a whole packet of them because I would be playing with them. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I have actually, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you um, what I stamped for these images really quick. Let's get the stamping out of the way and then we'll build our um, card. So like I said, we're going to be playing with Parakeet Party and these little sprigs I absolutely love. You can stamp several of them and then die cut them out and have them all lined up for like multiple cards. But we're gonna go ahead and stamp that down. And then we are gonna go ahead and bring in our daffodil. Oh, Sally, thank you for joining me. Um, our daffodil delight, which is gonna be our lemon and our cute little adorable little lemon. And then we are gonna bring in our dies. These amazing dies. So we're gonna be playing with this one right here. The, this will cut out the little sprigs. And then of course our little lemon. We're gonna be cutting that out. And then we are also going to be cutting out a teacup from this pattern. And I loved this blue. And I believe these are the two new in colors. It's both the um, Starry Sky and the um, Oasis Orchid. So we, with the magic of camera, I have actually already pre-cut this out so you don't have to hear me cutting them through the die cutting machine or shake anything up. So let me go ahead and put these back down. I just wanted to stamp the images for you to show you what you needed to stamp out. Okay. And with the magic of camera, we have them already cut out. Let me find my little lemon. I have them over here in a little cup. So that is done. And then we have a two inch strip by, I think I actually have to trim this one down. Uh, this is actually gonna be a two inch by four inch strip of um, designer paper. Let's go ahead and get that. And I believe this is a half of an inch by four and that'll be for the inside of our card. And then we also have these doilies. These, it's actually the back side of the doilies that are in the current mini catalog, and that is the Heart and Homes doilies in the mini catalog, and those will be available till the end of June. 
so grab those while you can if you want the doily and I just used the basic white on the back side I loved the blue but I thought that the doily gives it that antique tea party um, look okay just check in on comments Okay, I'm glad everybody's finding me. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and just glue that down. And of course, we gotta bring in Tom. Tom is um, our fan favorite in this craft room. Tom is my reliable adhesive. We love Tom in the craft room. So, let's go ahead and lay that down. And then while we have this extra little strip, we'll go ahead and do the inside panel piece as well. Now these are um, basic white panel pieces and they're cut at four by five and a half, or four by five and a quarter. And don't worry, the sizes and dimensions will be on my blog. Um, first thing tomorrow morning, I just have to do some final touches to my blog post. So first thing tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, all the sizes and dimensions will be up on the blog as well as the replay of this video. We love Tom and I love the lemon paper. Marcy, I'm telling you, I wish I had a whole packet of just the lemon paper. I don't know about you guys, but it might be just the weirdness of me being the obsessed of lemons, but I absolutely love it. So we are going to go ahead and bring in some more Tom, glue down our doily. And like I said, these are quick, easy, simple layouts that you can do multiples of. And I believe, how many come in a packet? Let me just see really quick. How many come in a packet of the doilies? That way you know how many um, you can make. Looks like 10 doilies. So you can make 10 of these cards. You probably wouldn't be able to necessarily focus on the lemon, but you do get four sheets of the lemon. So you might be able to get 10 cards out of those. And then we will go ahead and glue our little sprigs behind the cup. I'm sorry, you guys, my allergies are going a little crazy today. I don't know about anybody else, but my allergies are going nuts. Okay, and then we are gonna bring in, oh, we gotta glue it down our little lemon. Anybody else a lemon fan out there? Or is it just the craziness of me? I just love the look of lemons in the summertime in kitchens and bathrooms and the scent of lemons. 30 doilies. Oh, sorry. Oh, thank you for that correction, Patty. There are actually 30 doilies, 10 um of each color so you can make 30 of these cards thank you for clarifying for that for me i have my helpers in here and they're amazing okay let's go ahead and bring your take my pick tool pull off the little backings another must have in your craft room this take your pick tool with the pokiness and then the putty knife that we'll be using towards the end but I love my take your pick tool I usually lose it but I haven't lost it in a long time so y'all should be proud of me oops let's go ahead and bring in the sentiment thank you for your friendship and then we are bringing in the orchid oasis you can use any of the sentiments in this. Any one of those would fit down in that area, but I just happen to like this one. Okay. 
You, you, is that the only way you use lemons, Rebecca? <laughs> to calm the bite of vodka? Okay, there we go. Okay, and then we are going to bring in my bone folder and crease those edges to lay that flatter. Another must have tool. Bring back Tom. I'm kind of sad right now because Tom is on back order until next week. So everybody seems to love Tom as well. So those should be back in my store hopefully next week. They say the week of May 9th. So hopefully these will be back because this is my favorite adhesive. And then let's go ahead and glue the inside panel in and then we will finish off with these matte um, uh, matte decorative in color dots. And I don't want that to glue down so let's wipe that up. Okay and then this is where, again where you're going to bring in your take your pick tool. And I don't have the um, darker blue, but I do have a few of the lighter orchid oasis. Oops. Okay. There we go. And that is card number one. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I'll have you vote at the end what your favorite is when we're done. Okay. Oh, you all are crazy. Trying to make me laugh and throw me off here. But I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in card number two. Again, it's the Sweet Sorbet color card base. And then if you notice, I'm going to be using a different um, panel piece. I loved this piece, but I actually love the rose one a little bit better. I just think it flows more nicely. So we're going to go ahead and cut our designer paper. And that is cut at the same piece as the basic white. It's going to be cut at four by five and a quarter. And then this will give you the inside piece that you can use for the inside panel piece. And then that leaves you with, I believe, a, a two inch strip. So again, you can take this one and do this layout by using just the one six by six piece. And that would cover both cards for you. So there you go. There's a, another little tip for you. And then, of course, we are going to be using the, scout, the second to the largest scallop from the contour dies. Again, these scalloped um, dies are a must-have in, in your craft room as well. I absolutely love these. They have several different sizes, and I'm going to see if I can reach the thing without knocking over. Oh, yes. Okay. We didn't come tumbling down, so that's good. The scallop contours have several different um, scalloped uh, rectangles that are really cool. And then it also gives you this um, scalloped edge as well. So we are going to go ahead and do that and do our stamping on this. And the first thing I'm going to do is get my little teacup 
um, pink teacup. And that's actually the back side of this. So you could actually either do one of two things, cut your teacup out with it, or use it as a secondary card. Okay, and then we are gonna go ahead and stamp on our teacup. And what I like to do here is get this stuff out of the way. I'm gonna lay down my teacup just so I could see where you can line up the little sprigs. So I'm gonna get my parakeet party. This is, again, I told you my new favorite green. And it really marries well with the, um, with the, oh my God, why am I drawing a blank on my other green? <gasps> Granny apple green. Oh my God, you guys, I totally drew a blank. I had to l legit look at my, um, ink pads. So that is going to be there and it looks like it's about right there. So we will go down, go back up, and then we will bring in the sweet sorbet. Hi, Robin. Thank you for joining me. And do our little flowers. Now, here's a tip. It took me a hot minute and an, Patty helping me line this up on how it would line up just right. It I was looking for an exact lineup and it didn't do that and it was really throwing me off. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna try not to get my head in the camera, you wanna take this sprig and these two sprigs and line that up. So it kinda, you kinda have to go in at an angle and then you go down and go straight up and it lines it up just like that. So if you line up this sprig and these two sprigs with the flowers, it gives you the perfect lineup. We had to look in the catalog just to see how that was because it really threw me off because it was not lining up just perfectly. You had to really just kind of maneuver and that's the best part about photopolymer stamps. You could see through the stamps. Bring Tom back in, glue down our cup. That would have been a pretty teacup too. that down okay now we're going to go ahead and glue our panel piece here and oh we got to do our sentiment bring back in the sweet sorbet I'm always needing thank you cards so this would make a great um layout for like a box set of thank you cards um for your mom for mother's day a gift idea or a friend or what have you giving them a nice little box set with the different designer papers for a gift that would make a great gift set okay let's get our bone folder Glue down our panel piece. And I'll have you guys look to see which one you like the best. If you like the roses or the solid uh, red background with the other little flowers on them. And then glue this down. You glue this down or pop it up with Stampin' Dimensionals, but we're just gonna go ahead and glue that down. And then, of course, let's go ahead and do our inside. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave that blank because I want room for to write my thank you note in there. Cause I always write books when I write thank yous. Okay. 
And do the inside. And then finish off with some rhinestone bling. And then I will have you guys pick your favorites out of the cards today. There we go. And let's bring in the other sample. So you guys get to vote what your favorite is. One, two, or three. Let me get this stuff out of the way and I'll give you guys a minute to tell me what your favorite is. But those are the projects for today. Robin likes one. Rebecca likes one and three. Tracy likes one. I'm, I'm partial for the one, but I stepped outside of my comfort zone and stepped away from the blues. You'd have to pick number two. Okay. Love them all, but two is your favorite. Tracy, three, two as well. You know, I love them all. Well, I just want to thank you guys so much for joining me today for my very first YouTube live. I also want to thank my mods, my very special mods, Marcy and Jason. You will see their name here on my lives going forward. You'll see the little blue wrench and their names highlighted in blue. They are my amazing mods and they're here to help out with any questions and interaction with you guys as I'm crafting and stamping at the same time. I I can't walk and chew gum, so they're here to help me out and to help answer any questions in case I had missed everything. I would love for you to do me a couple of favors before you leave today. One, please, if you have not done so already, click that subscribe button down below and be sure you click on the notification bell as well as the word all on the drop down box and that will tell you hopefully next time when I go live. I was hoping that you guys were notified um, when I was live, but there might be a little bit of hiccups, so we'll have to change that in the future. Second, I would love for you to share my channel with any of your crafting friends. I'm looking to build my community and building it up, and if you know anybody that loves crafting tutorials, and if you um, don't mind, I would love for you to share that. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States and you've seen products that you've liked today, I would also love the opportunity to earn your business. So if you're not working with another demonstrator and need a, um, would like to purchase, um, supply, supplies, it's shop dot, shop.cardsbytlc.com. And also in the description box down below, all the shopping links are there as well. And as you, as I said before, we just came out with the new annual catalog. If you would like your copy um, of the annual catalog, just go to my website as well. I just ask that you're not working with another demonstrator. It's only fair. I don't want to take away catalogs from other demonstrators. And there is a spot for you to click the request a catalog form and I will get that out to you. But again, thank you everyone for joining me today. I really appreciate your support and love. And I hope you can join me next Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for another creation. Thanks, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day and the great rest of your week. And to all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day.